Hi there, welcome to the bookstore. Would you like some assistance? Perfect, I have a stack of books ready for you. Okay, let's see. Are you in fiction? Great, all of these are fiction. Okay, let's see. We have The Alchemist. This is sort of like a, not self-help. Self-help make it fiction. Entertaining self-help, if you will. You like it? You wanna read it? Interested? We'll put it to the side. Perfect. Okay. No crystal stare. This is an oldie but a goodie. She was donated by some of our more veteran readers. She's a bit thick, but she's definitely worth the read. I mean, I wouldn't know. I'm only about halfway through. But from where I am, great read. Interested? Like it? Want to read it? Want to buy it? Want to keep it forever? Want to rent it? Mm, I'll put it to the side, okay? What about The Fault in Our Stars? A classic. Who doesn't love John Green? Yeah, also pretty thick. Let's see, how many pages does this one have? 313. Do you have time for 313 pages of reading? Your time? Do you want to make time? Hmm, how about you read it? Maybe? No? Oh, bad choice. I'll put it to the side. You'll change your mind later. Okay, how about this one? The Islands at the End of the World. I actually didn't really like it that much, but you know, it's interesting plot line, just terrible writing. I'm kidding. No, but seriously, do you want it? She's not as thick, but it will feel insufferable to read through. Yeah, I mean, it has more than the last one, and considering you said you didn't have the time for any of these, I don't know, man. However, I work off commission, so we'll put it to the side. Fahrenheit 451, you're looking for a dystopia to make you happy that you live in the world you live in until you realize that this world is becoming your world very quickly at a rapid rate. Dystopias aren't so fictional anymore. Does that sound intriguing? We'll put this aside. How long is it? Not very long. Okay. You can live out the rest of the book in real life. And then, of course, Percy Jackson. We're starting off in the middle of the series, but I feel like that would be really, really fun. You have some work inferring, figuring things out, some good deductive work, work out that brain. You like it? You buy it? You want to rent it? I work all commission, so you're getting all of these. Let's see, how many books is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that six books? That is six books. I work in a bookstore. I don't do math. But from what I see, that's six books, meaning you're going to pay $5 a book. Six books, $30. Again, I said, not that great at math, but I do work all commission. So that sounds like $30 to me. Do you have $30? Perfect. Okay, here are your books. Have a great day. Hi there, welcome to the first store. Can I help you out today? Great. Okay, what are you currently working with? Oh, not great. Okay, I have a variety of selections. Whether you want a bigger bag, or maybe you want a smaller bag, or maybe you want something a little in between if you aren't going to a party and you also aren't wanting to carry a satchel. However, I love this bag. Okay, we have some nice, fun, creaky handling. You know, nice little weavings that you look like you care about fashion. It has a weird little clasp that makes you look like a grandma every time that you try to close your purse. You have a little pocket in front that absolutely anything will fall out of if you put anything in there, but it looks cute. Oh, let's see on the inside. Lots and lots of space. I actually have my keys in there. Nice. There's a little zip pocket here that you will forget if you put absolutely anything in here but it's a good way to conceal some things that maybe people don't need to see uh, anyway there are also two little pockets in here the things will get stuck in that you don't mean to and then you start looking for stuff and then you realize it's hidden in that little pocket on the side of your purse anyway nice bag nice and pretty nice and spacious i'd say it's good for if you're going on a plane and you need to carry like absolutely everything yeah, absolutely. Does it look awkward? No. I mean, not unless you have a lot of stuff in it, and then it just, like, protrudes out and pokes you in the arm every time you hold it. But other than that, I mean, you look extremely pretentious and fashionable, depending on how you look at it. You like it? Do you love it? You want to buy it? We'll set it to the side, okay? Moving on. I mean, did you want the tiny purse? Can a phone fit in here? No. I mean, it depends on what phone you have. Is it bigger than an iPod? Yeah? No. No. 
but you know it's cute you can't really hold it any type of way because it's going to get stuck about halfway up your arm um you can't hold anything in it but it will look cute i mean put some lip gloss in here maybe a key or two and you're good to go what else do you really need you know detach from your phone let's see two little pockets in here even though you can't even hold anything in the main pocket but she's cute she's fashionable she looks expensive yes it does yes it does yes it does absolutely 100 you're lying to yourself if you think it doesn't look fashionable moving on we have this pretty pink bag okay she's a nice in between between the satchel and the mini bag that can't fit anything in this one is just inconvenient if you put the slightest bit more stuff in it than fits the structure of the bag okay i'm saying keys wallet phone it starts to protrude a little bit and then it's a little hard to close and then you're struggling in the checkout line when you can't put your wallet back in your purse without everything else falling out or get your keys out of your purse before you get in your car without everything absolutely spilling out onto the floor when getting run over by another car However, put just the right amount of stuff in here and it's the cute fashionable purse, okay? She's very fun. She's very, you know, simple, easy, easy access. There's a little back pocket back here that you can put anything in and then forget it's back there too. But it's cute. You interested? We'll set it to the side, okay? And the final purse I'm going to show you today is a little baguette purse. All right. Again, a little too small to put lots of things in, but you can fit maybe a phone in a wallet. I'm not sure about those keys. All right. However, or depending on how much money you have, I'm not sure about the wallet either. All right. Everything has to be very thin in here unless you want to overstuff it and then look like you couldn't afford a bigger purse. However, it's fashionable. It's sleek. It's cute. Okay. It doesn't make too much noise. If you need to pack it somewhere, I mean, basically the size of a wallet, maybe for a reason. All right, not a lot of fabric gonna cost you a pretty penny though, okay? I don't know if those spark your interest. No. Well, then what are you still doing here? You just wasted my time. I could have been talking to five more people in the time I was talking to you. You're messing up my commission. Leave. Goodbye. Hi, can you come over here for a second? Yeah, over here. Just for a second. Hi. Come here. Come here. I have free stuff. Hi. Yeah, I called you over to perfume counter because I have a couple of samples that I think would look great on you. You aren't really smelling the best right now, so I'm going to help you with that by spraying everything I have on you. Okay, but you're going to have to buy something. Yeah, you are. Okay, let's begin. Now, I mean, we can start with something lighter, something that's going to wear off pretty soon. You know, I have two of those. They're more festive. Van vanilla bean. Um, Noelle actually by bath and body works ever heard of it no it's actually pretty rare only like 10 people in the world have it and then warm vanilla sugar now this one a little more common um also very festive you know we're getting into fall which is basically winter which is honestly just christmas so if you wanted to have a more christmas scent i have it for you okay now let's begin with vanilla bean noel like i said it's very rare so i'm only gonna give you a couple of sprays it's gonna be very very expensive if you want to buy it okay okay yeah that's all you get okay i know that wasn't a lot but yeah you like it give it a waft give it a you like it okay what about this one this one warm vanilla sugar she's good too waft it in really waft it gotta fully get the smell Ugh. yikes not as much okay that one's good too i'm surprised okay now we have our, our more perfumes you know they're a little more they're gonna stay a little bit better okay we have a chance by chanel all right this bottle is very full clearly um so i can i can douse you in it all right hold out your wrist i know that was a lot maybe pretty strong how do you like it okay okay we'll put that on the wait list we'll put that on the wait list and what about this one this is memoir 
flower fields. Sounds all cute. Sounds all sweet. Sounds all cute. You wanna try it? You don't really have a choice. Okay. Really sniff it up. Really. Waft it in. Get all of it. All of it. All in. I once. You like it? You don't like it? Surprising. Okay. This one doesn't have a scent. It's just a heart. Okay, now this one you're supposed to just dot onto your onto your wrist. Okay, but we're actually gonna put it on this little card. Okay, so that you can get a nice little smell of it. Okay. Oh. Can't really smell it. Can you? Here. Really sniff it up. Waft it. Waft it. You're not wafting. What is wafting? Wafting is this. Yeah. Do it. Come on. Okay. That's that one. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you want to buy it? Okay, moving on. Next is sea salt and fig. Not really a fig person. Me neither. Okay. Ready? You like it? You love it? yeah great okay finally we have this little tiny sample of um rose goldia that's how you say it hush okay we're just gonna give you a little bit of a sample here now this isn't for you this isn't <laughs> don't give these away Are you kidding okay Where there's some in here. See? Good enough. Sniff it. Come on. Waft it. Waft. Waft. You like it? You love it? You want it? Too bad. We don't have the full size. Okay, well, you liked this one, and I think you liked this one. And just for funsies, we'll throw in this one. You didn't like this one? That's okay. Alright, now that'll be $500. You have it? Great. Hi there, welcome to the jewelry stand. Would you like to buy some jewelry? Of course you would, that's why you're here. Okay, are we looking for maybe some necklaces, some earrings, some bracelets, some rings? What are we here for? I have everything. I have everything? Perfect. Okay, well, first off, we have this cute little necklace. Is this dolphin pendant a little cheap? Maybe. However, uh, it's a good length. All right, and if you don't look that closely, you're not gonna see how cheap it is. All right, you put it on and it comes to about there. Maybe, give or take, a little bit. Uh, but you know, very cute. Mm, nice little accessory, doesn't really add much, but it adds something. You like it, you love it, you wanna buy it? We'll put it to the side, okay? This one, this one's a heavy hitter. Really popular with the TikTok girlies right now, okay. It actually has a cute little pink butterfly on it. Isn't that adorable? It is. It has a nice little, like, thick chain on it. Gives it a little more edge instead of just the regular pink butterfly because you can't just like pink butterflies, you know? Yeah. You like it? You love it? You want to buy it? It's a little heavy. I mean, it has some weight to it. Not much. Still very fake. But, you know, got some, some sound. She clicks a little bit. You like it? Like, what? No, no, no. Okay. Okay, and lastly, I mean, if you just didn't like the chain on that one, this chain is very simple, much smaller, little accessory to any outfit. You add this with a little simple pendant or a couple longer ones. Really easy way to dress this up. Do you like it? You want it? Of course you do. It'll go really, really well with your simple pendant. Yeah, I insist. Okay. That doesn't mean it's free love. Okay, anyway, how about some earrings? You like some hoops? You like hoops? These are really, really big hoops. Yeah, they're cheap. However, they're they're really big, okay? They're like pretty big. I think you'll like them though. Yeah, you look like a big hoop person. Not really, but you, you try them out, you know? Maybe you need to be a big hoop person. Yeah, let's put them to the side. Okay. Maybe, you know what, now looking at you, maybe you're a small hooper. 
in fact maybe you're a small hoop person actually i have some really tiny hoops for you do you want to try these these are minuscule all right these are a little bit higher quality than the rest of the jewelry i have here so if you want some real jewelry this is your only chance all right you get the small jewelry you get the big jewelry you can switch it up from day to day you can be a small hoop person and a big hoop person all at once yes you can all right moving on how about some bracelets you look like you need some bracelets your wrists look a little bare okay we've got this one this one's super pretty with a bunch of butterflies on it all right that'll go really really well with your butterfly necklace that you didn't want you can get them as a package deal that doesn't mean a deal it just means you're getting them together all right but this one's super cute super simple you can do it like that do you want it on your wrist yeah let's put it on your wrist see oh that's so cute that's so cute yeah you need this you need this okay We'll keep those fingers from being so bare too, alright? If you know what I mean, you know what I mean, you know what I mean, yeah, yeah, okay, let's see what else. We've got this one, it's like a simple chain link, but it's got a couple of these little fun accessories on them. You see that little like barrels on it, really cute and fun, it will really go with all of your, your necklaces, all of your accessories go together. Yeah, we only sell silver here, we don't really like any gold jewelry, we don't speak jewelry however silver we've got a ton of her here you don't really like silver oh that's okay all right i mean if you want we do have this like rose gold bracelet super super cute i think you'd like it it's really stretchy so you don't even have to put like any clasps on or anything you just slip it on super cute no it's not gonna break in a million pieces why would you think of that You'd love it. How about a watch? Do you need a watch? Are you often late to things? Yeah, I figured. Here, let's grab that for you. Okay, this is also a rose gold. Will go great with your new bracelet. Yeah, it's pink with some rose gold on it. I think you'd love this. Yeah, it has the 12, 3, 6, and the 9. Can you tell time on a, on a new lock clock? Well, that's really unfortunate, but maybe you can learn. And maybe learn to be on time with this. Let's see. Hmm. Do you want an anklet? You want an anklet? I have an anklet here for you. Yeah, we'll throw that in. Yeah. Okay. How about some rings? Those fingers are looking a little bare. I have a couple of rings here. Let's grab a couple. There's this one. This one. This one. So let's see. Do you like any of these? Do you like any of these? These are really pretty. These are really, really, really pretty rings here. There's this this one, which you can't really tell what the detailing is, but it's cute. Trust me. Here, we'll put it here. This one is a little infinity sign to show that, you know, you'll be with somebody forever if they ever decide to put a ring on your finger. Super, super cute. This one, I mean, I think it's supposed to look fancy, but really it's just green inside, and that looks kind of gross, but I think, you know, it kind of fits. It's kind of cute. Nobody's going to look that, that closely at this cheap jewelry anyway. Okay, and I didn't say anything. And then this one is like a little snake, super cute, super fun. It's actually a double-headed snake. Yeah, maybe it'll keep away the, the snakes in your life. <laughs> okay, and this one, I can't really tell what it's supposed to be, but it could be fun. You like it? You love it? You want to buy it? Of course you do. Okay, well, that concludes all the jewelry we have here. You're going to take all this with you, okay? Have a great day. Hi there, welcome to the makeup counter. Do you want to buy some makeup? Of course you do, that's why you're here. Okay, let's start with the base before you put on absolutely anything. You need to prime your face that round. <laughs> this is the Elf Jelly Pop Do Primer. Do you know your skin type? Doesn't matter. This right here is like a little jelly texture. Okay, it's going to be really tacky. Does that sound appealing to you? No? You don't like that? You don't like how, how sticky that is? No? Not for you? Okay. Oh, I'm sure I have a bunch of things that appeal to you. What about, are you a uh, foundation person? No? Maybe? Who knows? Who cares? Honestly, everybody is a concealer person. Concealer hides everything, especially those bags on your eyes. You really need to sleep more. Okay, this is the next Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer. I can't stop, won't stop putting on concealer. <laughs> I'm hilarious. Okay, this one right here. Maybe your shade? Mm, no. Okay, well, give me your hand. Okay, let's just pat that in, pat that in, pat that in. 
yeah definitely not your shade but it does blend nice it's pretty do you like that blend not enough coverage for you i can see let's see this is the elf 16 hour camo concealer and a matte finish now this doesn't cover your bag so i don't know what well all right give me your hand again all right we're gonna pat, 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 pat. oh that's the coverage you need right there that can cover a tattoo all right that can cover all your mistakes that can cover a night of bad mistakes honestly a lifetime of bad mistakes which you might need okay we're gonna put this to the side for you okay sound good okay good hmm. are you more of a mascara girly or more of a lashes girly i have both okay well lashes we have some really thick fluffy lashes sorry they're foaming of course i'm not a monster you like that you think those are pretty you want those not for you that's okay we have mascaras okay let's see first we have essence which everybody raves about it's five dollars but we're gonna charge you ten okay this is what the brush looks like just blink 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 do you like that maybe okay we'll look at the other one and come back this is the rare beauty one okay she's really wet so <laughs> so just be cautious okay blink 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 oh it's all over your eyelid my bad okay do you have a mirror because i don't i mean honestly i think they both are great i think you should get both and then layer them yeah that's how that works okay and then i'm gonna have to top it all off with a setting spray okay this one is from wet n wild is it gonna draw out your pores maybe who knows okay we're just gonna spray your face really quickly okay i'm gonna cover your eyes and then just gorgeous all righty oh yeah i do start to see those pores but that might just be you all right and finally you're gonna need a lip to top that all off because your lips are looking a little dry and crusty did you put anything on them today yeah i can tell this one's by mark jacobs but we definitely did not get it from the dumpster also by tj maxx okay this one's super pretty no we're not gonna charge you like we got it from the dumpster at tj maxx it's gonna be full retail price okay pucker up okay rub that in for me you like it you love it you want to buy it of course you do okay so you want two mascaras the mark jacobs and the concealer and the setting spray just for fun see so we'll add in the lashes is that good great hi there welcome to the coffee shop what can i get for you today wait 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 i'm not ready <laughs> all right maybe you don't need the coffee all right what can i get for you double shot of espresso and chai with caramel oh that's different with extra foam anything for heart attack <laughs> or diabetes first <laughs> don't worry about it i'll get it for you all right how you doing how are you i mean judging from your order not doing great but you know your coffee is going to be $9.68. Yes. $9.68. Yes, that's correct. Yes, I know you got a medium. It was the caramel that added $5. Oh, and the double shot instead of one shot? Yeah. So, like, do you have it or, like, Okay, good. Here you go. Have a nice day. Hi there. Oh my god. What's going on with your skin? It's all patchy and scaly. So many pores. Oh my god. Okay, let's see. What can I do for you? Do you know what type of skin you have? Oily, dry, sensitive, combination. You know that? 
you don't know okay well i have two facial cleansers for you um this is a gel cleanser this one is not a gel cleanser it like foams up a little bit but not very much this one sides up but it's a gel at first it actually feels really nice this one i mean it just really sides up that much but that's good if you don't want it to get in your eye because those suds tend to go everywhere you know what i mean yeah i know i'm a skincare specialist however you live with your skin every day so you don't know great okay well i'm gonna send you home with both and you try them out and let me know what works okay the rest of these you don't have to make any decisions which is fantastic okay so next you have an oil balancing exfoliator next you have an oil balancing exfoliator okay you are not going to use this every day even though it says daily you're going to use this maybe two to three times a week given your skin i'd say three if you feel like your skin is a little sensitive and is reacting a little more harshly to the exfoliator it feels excessively dry your skin maybe starts peeling scaling any of that maybe use this a little less or switch to a different exfoliator but just come back to me and i'll find you another one okay okay now as far as a toner you can use that every day i say uh don't overdo it with the toner either use it every day except on days that you exfoliate you don't want to overdo it on your skin now this one is pretty gentle shouldn't like strip at your skin or anything nothing should really strip at your skin that much besides your cleanser which is stripping away the dirt and cleansing it right your exfoliator obviously is going to be a little more harsh but that's besides the point and your toner is going to replenish your skin bring some more hydration all right um you can use this every day and hopefully it'll make your face a little more glowy because right now you're looking very very dull okay on days where your skin needs a little extra i say maybe do this once a week maybe twice given the condition that your skin is in currently this is just a peel off gel mask you can really use any but this one is going to purify your skin and refine your pores given the state of your pores you're going to need this more than probably anybody else in the world but this is also good for all skin types so because you're clueless about your skin this will be great all right and finally we have a simple moisturizing cream this one is for normal to dry skin normal skin is like it doesn't lean too oily or too dry that's not you however i feel like this works on literally everyone if you feel like it's a little too heavy for your preference come back to me and i'll find you another moisturizer okay now as far as that that should be all the stuff you need that's going to be about six hundred dollars given the consultation and all the products can you pay that okay fantastic hi there welcome to the gamer store we're actually all sold out of games but do you want any other technology you do fantastic okay well do you need some new listening devices some new headphones some new speakers anything like that i got you covered how did i know okay well first off we have some first generation airpods these are actually before the first generations they stopped selling these however they're really okay um we're not gonna give them to you at any sort of discount even though uh, apple has literally said that they're not as good as they're supposed to be they're defective but it's okay but it's okay because what has apple ever done wrong you know they can't possibly release a bad product so these are the AirPods. Don't pay attention to the damaged case. Inside are the little AirPods in here. Yeah. Okay. You charge them with a regular phone charger down here. A little button on the back if you want to connect them to your devices. Um, does it work with Android devices? I believe so. I don't know for sure but i mean i think you can connect it to a computer and stuff so like if that's not an apple device then yeah yeah sure totally yeah 100%. okay so i'm gonna give this to you at full refill price but i'm gonna make you think it's a deal okay it's totally a deal it's totally 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 a deal okay i'm giving you a steal that you do not want to miss all right don't look online because you're not gonna find any deals better than this one just trust me okay you see them now you don't buy them they're gonna be gone all right next we have a little gbl here you like speakers yeah this one's a nice one okay when you're listening to music the bass is gonna actually push this in and out it's gonna look really cool make you feel like you're at a house party do you want to make you want to feel like you're at a house party fantastic yeah it's a really 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 nice speaker the battery life is not great however i almost dropped it there uh, you get to say you have a JBL. Yeah. Sound quality. Pretty good. 
pretty good. Does it get that low? Not really. However, it's a JBL speaker, so why not? Yeah, it's probably the best you're gonna get. Yeah. Yeah. You, you want it. Yep. Yeah. Now, I know we said we're sold out of games and we're sold out of gaming consoles, but we're not sold out of is controllers. All right, this PS4 controller. I'm pretty sure you can use it for PS5. I don't know. I haven't been able to get my hands on it, even though I own a technology store. All right, this one. You know, it's got all the standard controls. Um, you interested? It makes great sounds. Great, great sounds. You want it? You like it? You want to buy it? You want to take it home? You don't have a console, you don't need a console, you can just play with the buttons. See, I'm having so much fun. No console inside. Yeah, you want it. Okay, now that's gonna be 800,000, so 1800, and then 400. That's gonna be $2,200. Do you have it? Okay, fantastic. 